do love some RuneScape. It's been a long time since I really played, but I do really enjoy it. But just kind of starting out, getting back into the swing of things. Still a couple tutorial missions that it's making me do, like teleporting to this new place here. See what it wants me to do. Got to talk to Gideon in the church east of Varak Palace. All right. First, we probably want to find the palace. And to do so, it might help glance at the world map. But I don't feel like making it easy, so we're just going to explore the streets a little. Ah, I actually see the blinking arrow on the mini map. Whether that'll help. You can actually click on the map to navigate, which sometimes will let your character find a, a quicker way to get around. So that can be preferable. Good tip as well is to keep an eye on this run energy. You can actually turn running off. For instance, if you were in kind of a hostile area, you might want to turn the running off until you actually need it, because your energy will run down and then you might not have any left to run. Uh, looks like I'm supposed to be talking to this guy, Gideon. He needs some assistance, it appears. Somebody stole a demonic tome. Could end the whole city, of course. moment it looks like no required items we might get a cool holy sword some basic stuff we'll go ahead and accept I think it's kind of part of the uh, beginning quest line uh, he's pursuing Dineth a dangerous and unstable wizard Deneth infiltrated Edgeville Monastery and stole a tome of demonology from the Order. The book was once used to summon Delrith, an ancient demon from the Infernal Dimension. Delrith has the power to demolish cities. He's impervious to all forms of attacks, except for the Holy Sword Silverlight. And of course, it's in the crypt beneath this church, and it's watched over by spirits. hop on down there. Now what I would like to do first, if possible, is pop over to this uh, little smelting, little smelter over here. I have a bronze bar that I was working on. And that is not the symbol for that. That guy sells houses. Wow. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? I wonder if the world map will direct me a little better. All right. So this is Varak. I do need the bank as well. This is a general store. We could sell a few things. There is not a smelter in town here. That I see, anyway. Oh, the vampire lands are over there. That sounds interesting. Um, you know, for now, let's just go throw stuff in the bank. And then... Uh, we can work on that in a little bit. But that'll be easiest. First off, we'll just throw some stuff in the bank. And then we will uh, resume our quest. And the reason we want to do that... Oh, hey, I remember this castle from back in the day. The old version of RuneScape. 
course everything looks a little nicer now. But yeah, basically we, we just don't want to have our inventory completely filled up. You know, that wouldn't do for going down into a crypt because we know that we're, of course, if we've played any game before, we know that we're going to want some room. I don't really know what a key token is, so... But anyway, I'm going to deposit a few of these things. sure I'm gonna need I don't think I want to use a bow I can always use a staff for the, the magic some basic magic attacks I don't think I'm gonna pursue the magic line you know I thought about it but I know that later on you really need runes to and it, and it takes runes as you use magic so I think I am gonna go actually melee and bow because it's a lot easier to just have arrows. So I'm going to keep my sword and shield with me. Um, but I am going to deposit the staff. And we need to check. I'm not sure. I think you may actually have to have some type of magic item like the staff to use magic. I don't know if you can still do your fire breath and whatnot um, without the staff. I'm not certain. But we'll test that out in a second when we get down to the catacombs. But for now, just equipping the sword and shield is fine with me. And we're still holding something magic. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. And if you want to be kind of OCD about it, organize it that way. Alright, let's go. So we're going to hop on down to the... Hop on down to the crypt, see what we can't see down there. We need to retrieve the sword, of course. And once we get down there, I'm going to try to reorganize the action bar. If we indeed are not able to use our magic without the magic item, then I don't need all the magic things on the bar. But I do love magic. I may have to switch back to that. Okay, we're down here. We're gonna go ahead and check out our... we're gonna clear this bar completely. And then we're gonna go back to melee, and we know we want this one for sure. That's just our basic melee attack. might want the range. I'm going to stick the range to a little further down here. Just so I don't mix them up. I don't think I have the level to use that yet. Magic. So I don't think any of these magic things work unless you actually have a magic item equipped, so I don't know. I may end up going back to may end up going back to magic. This will be good in the middle of a battle. That'll help me regenerate. Thick skin's not a bad prayer to have. That might be all we have for now. Oh, well, we got a nice kick, too. 
And some stuff we can try since we don't have magic. But we could add some more range down here in case we decide to use that. Alrighty. Now. Looks like we got something going on in here. These people are uh, guarding the sword. Alright. They've all welcomed me. I've come seeking silver light. We must pass trials. Trial of the body in the west, trial of faith in the north, and the mind is to the east. Alrighty. Well, let's try one of these trials out. Never know till you try. This is the spirit of the body. We're going to begin the trial. Okay, they want me to attack these bones. So, that's what we're doing. go ahead and do my first prayer. Okay, so that was the trial of the body. Just need to do the spirit of faith. Let's see what this one does. Now, somehow we have to cross the chasm. Spirit is actually guiding us, which is nice. He's testing our faith, of course. says we are free to walk back as we please. So we shall do that. And now we just have one more trial to complete. And that was the incorrect way to walk. We actually need to go this way. Spirit of the mind. Okay, let's begin the trial. Quiz to make sure we paid attention to the quest epilogue. It seems we may now be able to claim the sword. Maybe we need to do one more thing. Aha. Now grab the sword. Awesome. We are good to go.
wasn't too hard. We're gonna go ahead and equip it. Blowing in all kinds of stuff here. Seventy-three damage, melee fast. Not bad, not bad. Typing. I was wondering why my WASD was not working. Ah, there's a scroll. Okay. Uh, he wants us to rush to this new trapdoor. someone else with a glowing sword. I wonder if they just completed this quest as well. Come here, imp. Nice. before, so I'm not really sure what's going on here. some surveys or some odd thing. Okay. Thank you, RuneScape, for that silliness. Yeah. Alrighty. Now we gotta go slay this demon that they are attempting to summon. Not on my watch, of course. Denath is going to have some minions down here. These guys in the robes. We need to defeat them. Gotta buff up a little bit with our prayers. back to one of the magic staffs after this. I, I don't like having to keep rune stones, but I guess if you focus on a few of the same type of spells and you don't have to carry too many of different varieties of rune stones, you can probably just carry a couple. Like focus on destruction and just carry a couple death rune stone stacks. I think they do stack as long as they're the same type of rune stones. So. find Danath before he summons this demon, but I reckon that's probably already happening. What do you want to bet? And 
here comes the awesome demon. Well, of course, he F's off. Now it's time to fight the demon, who is only a level 15, but when you're only level 7 or something, that is powerful, I suppose. Delrith. Demon. We are going down. Oh, that took a big chunk. I eat a little bit while I'm fighting. Magic attacks might have done a little better here. That's all right. Doing the best we can. Man, I'm just getting taken out. There's really anything I can do about that either. That attack's pretty powerful. I'm not going to heal up any as much as I would like it, that to happen. Okay, he's going to shield me. But I really don't have much left here, so... tries to pull another one of those attacks, I'm pretty much dead. Oh, there we go. I think we got him. Come on, buddy. No! Man, that about killed me. Guess I can kick him. Alright, now we gotta get out of here. We gotta go, go, go. Oh, no. Oh. Alright, I got silver light. I got some lamps. Got a wand and some books. Yeah, a wand might be cool. And they want me to teleport again. Big surprise. Wonder when they're gonna stop forcing me to go on quests and let me kind of side mission it. So that hasn't seemed to happen yet. It's kind of annoying. Was this a circus? We have a carnival going on. Oh, what in the world? Gnome Banker. Before I talk to the banker, I know that I would like to wear these gloves and these trousers. The wand is pretty cool. A wand might be what I end up using if I want to do magic. I might want to look that up a little bit, I'm just not sure magic is the way to go.
this magic is pretty cool. Well, maybe that's what I'll do then. I will... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to find which one of these is the quickest on magic, accuracy... I think this, the wand that I have right now is probably going to be best, because it's the quickest. Uh, I'm going to keep silver light, but I'm going to deposit this other sword. I don't think I can sell it anyway. lamp I'm gonna put on uh, I'm gonna put it into magic probably one more into uh, t yeah, attack one more that'll be probably def constitution Sounds like I actually need to talk to the gnome banker, not just bank with him, so. Oh, it actually wants me to talk to the gnome shopkeeper here. That can be done. gives me a little prayer bonus can be put in the shield slot which is pretty interesting
I'm supposed to kill five cows. Bury some bones and some lacking prayer, anyway. That'll be some good leather to, ta to tan up. Go ahead and bury the bones. Familiars, okay. I need to recharge my prayer at an altar. Apparently just burying the bones is not enough. Hopefully after I complete these basic challengers, it's gonna let me kind of resume doing things, or uh, I mean start doing things a little more on my, my own. So this is kind of tedious to have to keep following these directions instead of following my own quest line.
that go? Might be worth a shot. A leprechaun? Hmm. I'll go ahead and cook up my steak. And it all got burnt, of course. Well, that will happen, but maybe... Thought I had a little troll with me.
some interesting little farming village. There's a furnace over here, along with an anvil, that's nice. Let's craft this leather into something. Missing a few things. Don't know if there's someone who tans hides here. But I'm gonna try to sell them all these. I don't feel like crafting that. This eye looks cool. But he needs me to be a member, which I'm not. That's okay. What's this little Stonehenge looking druid circle over here. Ah. We're going to use my prayer points, so that's good. I guess I should go ahead and take this time to swap out my action bar. I think I will go ahead and swap to a couple things. First, I do want to keep the basic slice one here. And then... I'm not going to use any range, so... We're going to do a couple uh, magic ones. i got to remember this one. This lets us uh, kind of run away. Although I don't know if I have... I don't think I have 30 magic yet. So maybe I'll leave that one off. really doesn't let you remove that. It says you can, but I think you can replace over it with something. It looks like that needs a air rune. Just needs adrenaline, which happens while you're fighting, so it's just good to know. <coughs> Excuse me. So, those two are adrenaline spells, which are uh, good to have when needed. combat spells we actually need more runes so it'll take a moment but once we get some air runes we'll be able to use that one so that's good to keep in mind might want to throw a couple defensive things up here like this regenerate I could see that being helpful
And then maybe this uh, prayer, that'll help us out. And this one does as well if we're in the middle of stuff going on here. And it just requires defense, so that's not bad. Alrighty. Go give this cow a fire breath just for fun. Bam. Take that. Just try out some of these attacks. Talk to that banker goblin over here. And then we'll go wandering. Find somewhere, find something to do. Let's go see what trouble we can get into. Come on, troll. My troll baby. Palace. What do we want to do next? I wonder what this shop is. Let's go check it out. It's even a shop. It just has a sink. Might not be what oh, maybe I can go up the stairs. Just wondering what the symbols were. But maybe it's not actually in this house, whatever I'm looking for. It actually looks like it's further over there, which Maybe impossible to get to without being inside the castle walls. That's okay. Alright. Let's check out the world map, see where we are. Troll lands, barbarian lands. Some more mining. Could head off that way. There is a dungeon. I'm gonna go try out this. Well, of course, we've already been to that dungeon now that I think about it. We might go try somewhere else. See what we can find. Goblin's face. Alrighty, let's go exploring. That's what an RPG is all about, right? have some food. That should kill a couple chickens or a cow or something. Could collect some eggs.
Grab a few eggs here and there. Apparently I don't need giant eggs unless I'm making a royal cake. That lets me know that there is a quest for that somewhere. I wonder if these eggs can be cooked or if I have to do something else special. One thing I um, I mentioned this in the earlier RuneScape stream, but I, I really love this new version. You know, they still kept it free, which is awesome. Even if they do hint at and try to scooch you towards paying here and there, but they turned up the graphics, but not so much that you still can't make you know have it playable on something like a lower end computer, which is just awesome that they still make that available for those of us who who don't have amazing graphic cards. I mean, even even though mine is very high, high powered and very, very optimal for much better games, it's just really awesome that they've made this available for those that can't afford that level of, of uh, graphic processing. I think that's really, really sweet. But even, you know, past that, um, just the, the improved graphics, but they've kept so much the same from what I remember from when I was younger that uh, it's very nostalgic. It's almost like, you know, I never left the game. I still remember where most of this is, where most everything is, and uh, where I am in the game. Uh, some of the quests are lines are the same, but they, they've added enough new stuff to keep it interesting, which is just awesome. Overall, a lot of respect to uh, was it Jagex, Jagex, if they're still the ones who who do uh, RuneScape. And listen to the musician. Just a lot that I really love about the new version, as well as the similarities between the game today that I used to play back in middle school. Can I actually read these signposts? So. It doesn't seem like it. I guess that one is, though. South, Al Karid, and Lumbridge. North to the dig site. That yeah, must be a mine up there. But well, hey, we can go uh, figure out what's over here. How about that? Why not talk to somebody? Out at the dig site. It's an arche archaeological dig site, apparently. Hmm. Oh, I might do a little more random exploring. I guess this goes back over to Kareed, the or the the desert area. <sighs> to go through this hole in the wall. It's quite intriguing. I wonder if that's the dig site that they meant. I thought it said north. Yeah, it said north was the dig site. Well, that leaves me thoroughly confused. Maybe we're just not allowed to dig, but we can still come over to the dig site at least. Pretty 
interesting. We've done a good job at creating that. It does look like a nice little archaeological dig site. I wonder where that, uh... I remember an island you could get to by a ship when I played the old school. stuff. It's pretty sweet. Ooh, I kind of want to go down there. What's this guy doing? Well, let's see one. He says he's working. Now, before you go down something like this, you always want to talk to the person hanging out near the dungeon, because they likely have a quest revol revolving around that. What's the big hole in the ground all about? Well, she said it was random, something the workers discovered at the dig site. She says it's important to her. She's looking for her son. She doesn't know what he looks like. She hasn't seen him for 25 years. need to defeat level 50 to 58 enemies. Well, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's a little too uh, leveled, leveled up for me. So that is not going to work. I'll have to come back to that one later on. There are some mysterious ruins over here. That may not be so crazy. But we need a talisman to access it. Hmm. Make a cooked chicken. give that to the troll, but that's okay. The troll is apparently named Cowhide, which is interesting. Interesting. I don't guess I really need eggs or anything then. Unless I'm making a cake or something that involves eggs. Might as well make a couple short bows while I'm sitting here. Maybe add to my fletching skill. String them, I will need string, but can't quite remember where to get that from at the moment. Oh, the sawmill operator. What's, what's he do? Will he pay me for trees? Will he pay me for logs? I don't know. Go check it out. Oh, he'll make them into planks. I don't know why I would want them to be planks, but he will make them into planks. So, convert to hidey hole. Oh, interesting. Convert wood to planks. 
Well, that's interesting. I don't know what I need that for right now, so I'm gonna stay away from that. See what's over here. Oh, uh, I actually have the client downloaded, but I believe this same version can be played uh, just in browser as well. But this is the uh, launcher that I actually downloaded and am playing from that. over back to this quest. I'm not certain if this still has a, a browser playable component or if you have to have the launcher. Have to look into that. I know the uh, the old school one which they still offer you know, the original version, that one is still in browser if you want to play that one. And he wants me to take the ferry to an island. Alrighty. Let's see what help they need. of cutscene lasted all of two seconds. Alrighty. So we have to figure out what happened to this island. Apparently it's been abandoned for some reason. Do a little exploring. Maybe fight some crazy zombies. Who knows? for the townspeople. We were attacked by these creatures. Horrible, horrible creatures, like something from a nightmare. They came out of nowhere. Before we knew it, we were surrounded. Barricades. The creatures just climbed over them and managed to put them behind my neck, but the others, the others were not so lucky. Where are the creatures now? I need to go through the sewers. Oh, of course. So besides sewer rats, let's see what else we encounter. Oh, see a monster around here. Let's see what it looks like. Unless it's just another sewer rat. Or maybe the red dots indicate other things like items. I just assumed it was a... Okay, yellow seems to be monsters and living things at least. Cthulhu motherfuckers up in here. Oh, 
fire breath him. Maybe hit him with a thwack. I don't know what that was. Apparently they like to eat minnows. That's about all he had on him. I could see why the town people might be worried about that. Although at the same time, you think they might have had like uh, some soldiers or something that could have taken on the low-powered creatures, but whatever. It's all good. Creature popped up already. This should take me to the other side of the island. Completed my initial sketches. Today I begin my inspection of the site. Once complete, the house will stand on a large sea stack at the southwestern end of the island. A steep vertical tunnel that leads into a large network of underground caves. Entrance into the sewer or whatever into the construction of the house. Oh, there you go. Secret entrance. Nice. Alrighty. Let's see where this one leads. More of these creatures, of course.
journal could come in handy. Might want to read through that. smugglers operation if they were making alcohol of some kind. for me or what? Five hours later. And there's a leak. Well, what do I need to repair the pipe? Probably this pitch. Oh, of course. in a barrel. Oh no, Crassian scouts. So we meet for the first time. No idea who you are, but taking you down. Crassians, and these are scouts. I was thinking that that was some special elite version of the creature's name, but it was actually just what they were. It's acting like I completed the quest, but I haven't completely shut this thing down yet. There's people down there being held. I guess that's the town's people. Gross. Might not confirm free them just yet, but it'll happen soon. Oh, that's a big mamma jamma. Alright. Take that guy out. Apparently there's a lever I can pull. Oh, well, okay then. Who set that lever up, but They've got some problems. 
who that lever was for, or why, or who, or what, when, where. Maybe the smugglers made it. Maybe the Crassians made it. Reminds me of those things in uh, Fallout. Those were not my favorite. Just trying to pull the damn lever. Come on. But now I probably missed the opportunity. Oh, that's all the way around. Excellent. This one. Oh, going to a cutscene. We'll just let me see where he's at. Yeah, alright. Basically, we're gonna wait till he turns around the corner there. And then we're gonna follow him around. both of them, we hope. Nice. Oh no! Townspeople! Oh, always gotta search the rooms. Never know when you're gonna find chests like that. Oh, 500 coins! And uncut sapphires, that's nice. Uh, yeah, we get it. So all these are controlled by that lever. Alright, let's see what we can do. Yeah, might be a tricky one. to hide in here? Is that part of the... Do we want to follow him around to the left? Or try to go that way? I'm guessing we want to try to follow him. There's no way we're not going to run into him otherwise. He's got to stay out of the line of sight of the one behind me. RuneScape ever had any type of sneakiness like this before. It's kind of interesting. ship already, or is this a different ship? That's what I'm wondering. These guys are pretty powerful.
Well, that was weird. Uh. Don't even know. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to avoid the tentacles while fighting Agatha. all the townspeople now. Alright. All in a day's work. Set of domain, bless you. Are you headed back to the mainland now? Uh, yeah, I guess so. See you guys later. Should have seen the size of their leader. Got lots of nice lamps to rub, some black pearls, combat area, and two treasure hunter keys. And I got a cape, how nice. Cape. 
unless you're that Edna lady from Incredibles. Uh, Rub all the lamps. Rub them, rub them, rub them. I bet this troll likes sapphires. I'm gonna give him one. I'm gonna find a jeweler who can cut these for me. Make them worth a little more, maybe enchant them, who knows. He's gonna give me the ring of potency. Choose a path to begin. Alrighty. So Oh, okay. Now I can finally actually be free to explore. Which is nice. That's what I was hoping for eventually. Once I got past all of that BS. Thought that was a giant dragon with wings. It was not. How disappointing. But that's okay. Okay. I wonder if this baby troll ever turns into a, something bigger. Probably no way to know offhand. Oh, there's something I could track down. We're gonna talk to him. Wandering Wormwood? Take from? those spikes might attack us if we do anything with that. So let's go check over here, see what's going on. I'm about to close this out for the night though. I'm getting a little sleepy. It's too late for the roadscape. I'm gonna hop back to Lumbridge. Sign out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 